I'm John White. Today we're going to be talking about pecans and the need to take leaf samples. And this can be for a homeowner or a commercial orchard. And this time of year is not the ideal. We're actually running a little bit late. But if you are interested in getting a nutritive value of what's in the leaves on a pecan, uh, this will help you base your fertilizer needs for next year on what you find out this year from your leaf samples. So the samples need to be taken quickly before it starts to cool off and we get uh, some senescence starting to take place in the, in the tree where we're starting to get trees that are yellowing and losing some of their uh, nutrient abilities just uh, naturally. So what we want to do is first talk about a pecan in general and what we're looking at is a, a leaf. This whole thing here is considered a leaf on a pecan and each one of these is a leaflet. So this whole thing here is called a true leaf on a pecan, and these are all leaflets. So what we're gonna be sampling is a branch or a leaf that's somewhere not out on the very tip, but not real, real way back into the tree. So we wanna take something that's about midway on the new growth, and then what we wanna do is take a pair of leaflets like this and break them off. So we're taking them out of the middle set of the leaf. We're taking the two leaflets. And what we're gonna do is just take a paper bag and drop them into a bag. And we like to take somewhere around 50 to 100 samples on a tree or in an orchard. So if we're in an orchard situation, we'd like to pull 100 pairs of leaflets out throughout the whole orchard and put them in a bag and then we'll be sending these into the lab for analysis. And what we find out on the leaves is uh, whether we're lacking in zinc, nitrogen, uh, manganese, maybe have a high boron content. Uh, some of those type of things will show up from the analysis and that might tell us uh, why these leaves are a little bit yellow out on the end, begin to wave a little bit, got a little crinkle to them. Uh, that could be uh, some zinc deficiency starting to show up. And so, again, our leaf analysis is going to tell us that. Uh, for zinc, we're too late in the year to add zinc, so this is going to be something that we're going to look at as far as our fertilization program next year is to maybe increase our zinc sprays, uh, look at how we're taking care of the trees presently, and we need to add that. Um, if nitrogen's a little bit low, we might need to boost the uh, fertilizer up a little bit in our uh, soil applied nitrogen. Um, so there's a lot of things that a leaf analysis can tell you. It is a thing that, especially on a commercial level, should be done on a yearly basis just to let you know what's happening within the orchard. If there's particular trees that are showing more deficiency than others, uh, those trees you might want to sample separately and send in that sample uh, different from the rest of them. But a leaf analysis is a thing that is uh, good to do. Some of the things that can throw you off, if we're looking at pecan leaves this time of year, uh, we can see some of the leaflets have little yellow spots uh, showing up in them. That is not a nutrient deficiency, that's insect damage. So uh, we need to, you know, if this is the problem, uh, leaf analysis is not going to do you much good to tell you that. You just need to realize that that's black pecan aphid damage on uh, pecan leaf and it's an insect problem and not a nutrient problem. So as we're looking at the tree, we want to look for deficiency symptoms that are obvious in the tree and that way we can uh, make a determination um, how to adjust our fertilizer program to take care of that. So you want to look at the tree overall. Uh, if we're getting a lot of burn on the edges, that might be an indication of higher salt levels uh, in the soil. So some kind of soil analysis may also want to be done so that you can uh, try and look at your fertilizer as far as the soil, any kind of salt built up, and then also look at the leaf analysis on the tree. So there can be several things uh, done there. So again, on a tree like this uh, pecan here, we would want to go around the tree pulling uh, leaflet samples from different parts of the tree. And when we grab that sample, uh, we're going to put it in a paper bag. Do not put it in a plastic bag. Plastic bag will heat up and you'll end up uh, losing a lot of the nutrients out of the um, 
leave, so we want to keep them in a paper bag, send them into the soil and water testing lab at New Mexico State, or there are several independent labs that also do uh, leaf analysis. So the important thing is to get that sample done as quickly as possible and get it sent in so that you can get the results back and make those determinations on your fertilizer program for next year.